Okay, so we had a uh, problem with the uh, Tormach uh, yesterday, and um, the, well, I'll go ahead and just do a tool change first, let's see here. So what happens is, this pulley will spin one direction, and then it'll uh, spin back the other direction to lock the uh, turret in place. And uh, so that so that's it. Well, um, yesterday it was um, mostly turning the turret forward, um, but it wouldn't lock it back into place. Once it had to switch directions, it, it couldn't do it. And um, and also, if you there's a little bit of play, like it has like some like running distance before it hits, you know, actually tries to turn it. So if you actually twist this to the point where it's up against. Um, resistance and try to do a tool change sometimes it works it doesn't always uh, work okay so that time it worked let's see if we can get it to get it to do it All right, so of course now that I've got it on video, it's not going to behave. But sometimes if it's up against the stop, it'll just sit there and buzz and won't actually move the turret. It's got some kind of play that's worked in there, so it can get a running, like a running jump at it, I guess. But anyway, it was basically just sitting there humming and timing out. Sometimes during the tool change, some and almost all, every time, basically when it changed directions to come and lock the turret in place. Um, so I pulled the cover, looked around, tried to figure out what I could do. Um, I was able to advance it manually and lock it manually by just pulling the belt so it didn't seem like anything was bound up. Um, I pulled the capacitor. It's got a capacitor down in the control. It's got this uh, capacitor here. This is the, um, the bigger one, the 25 UF. I think they had uh, a 15 before, but I already replaced that. This is the control board for it. Everything was like, you know, the, uh, the relays or whatever were switching and clicking like they should, um, but nothing, and it, they were trying to turn the motor, but it just wasn't. Um, I called into support, and um, as you guys know, I hadn't had the greatest luck with their support before, um, but it's been years uh, since that experience. So anyway, I talked to a guy named Craig, uh, shout out, and uh, he didn't have all the answers, but he was able to get a hold of the, uh, the guys above him that you know worked on the lathes a lot and um, since I needed the machine back and up and going I ordered a new capacitor a new board and a uh, new motor even though I checked the windings and everything seemed okay um, I needed to get back up and going so for about 500 bucks I just ordered all the parts they said I could send uh, the ones that didn't work back for like a you know potentially restocking fee um, but I think I'm gonna actually keep the parts um, you know, the only thing, I went ahead and replaced the capacitor. It wasn't the capacitor, it was the board. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep the motor just in case um, so I don't have any downtime. But they actually overnighted the parts to me. I got them the next day, um, even though at first they said they weren't going to be able to get them out uh, yesterday. Uh, they actually were. The parts got here, um, solved the problem, and uh, so I just wanted to... Go ahead and give a shout out to Tormach on helping me with this issue. I was in the middle of a job and um, kind of give you an inside look at the uh, turret and how it works. Um, down here, there is a gearbox uh, or like a oil. There's like a little membrane behind here and that's what keeps the oil in uh, for the gearbox. There was the uh, coolant thing here. I pulled that off. We never use it anyway because we have this. Um, and it even has a spare belt. The spare belt was actually bigger than this belt, like it was uh, flopping around in there. Um, but you could take that slack out with this. Um, but I ended up just putting the old belt back on because um, it wasn't going to be the issue. Um, I believe this is um, either the lock sensor or the, uh, it's probably the lock sensor, but, um, or the tool change. Uh, sensor so it comes around and clicks a switch every time and lets it know that a tool has passed by and uh, When it gets to where it thinks it needs to be then it reverses the motor and backs up um, So anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching shout out to Tormach for actually hooking me up this time and um, I uh, Really appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching